Hello, parishioners of St. John Newman. I hope you're enjoying the beautiful fall weather that we've been having these past few weeks. And in spite of all the things going on in the world, I hope that this message finds you all safe, happy, and well, and enjoying all the gifts that God gives us. I just wanted to give you a fall report, especially maybe for those of you who haven't felt comfortable returning uh, to Holy Mass yet. Uh, we wanted to shoot this video. I, I just want you to know what's been happening here at your parish and uh, many, many wonderful things. In, in spite of all the challenges that our, our world and our country have faced over the last year and a half or so, our, our parish uh, is holding out and doing very, very well. We are full of hope. And I just wanted to let you know that all of our fall programming is back up and running. Our high school program, our junior high program, our family faith program. We currently have two individuals in our RCIA program uh, interested in the Catholic faith. Our men's ministry is starting uh, very, very soon, as well as some wonderful things planned for uh, the Advent season as well. And so do keep your eye on our parish website, keep your eye on our bulletin, as all of those things are starting back up. We are very excited to, and if you drove down Pearl Road recently, maybe you saw the Oktoberfest banner over Pearl Road. So we are having our first Oktoberfest this fall, which we're very excited, which will encompass the annual car raffle. Car raffle tickets are going very well. We're almost at 600, so there's only 400 left. So. Make sure that you take advantage of that opportunity. Uh, where else are you going to get one in a thousand chances to win a brand new car and support your parish at the same time? So we have the Oktoberfest coming up. That same day on the Oktoberfest in the afternoon, we will have trunk or treat for the children of our families. And then we're going to have the, the Oktoberfest celebration with live music, great food. Hope you can join us for our Oktoberfest on October 16th. I also wanted to let you know of some of the capital improvements uh, that have happened here. As you know, we finished some older projects like the fire alarm system, the new fire alarm system, the handicap accessible door system. We've also finished uh, moving to LED lighting. Our entire complex now has more energy and cost efficient LED lighting. Uh, we've restored or replaced the roof on the pavilion so you can stay dry while you're under the pavilion now. Brand new beautiful roof on the pavilion. Uh, we've done some beautiful painting in the sanctuary and in the chapel of our church. Uh, we filled in all the chuck holes in the driveway, uh, had all the driveway patching done. We are also still, we are finishing off, we are moving on a Mary Garden project. Thank you to those who have been so generous uh, in that area, as well as your generosity regarding the installation of kneelers in our parish. Uh, the kneelers will be installed the week of October 18th. And so these are all things, uh, rather uh, uh, just from uh, your, your, your general timing, your general uh, generosity, uh, and through special donations that we've been able to accomplish these tasks. I'm very grateful to our Parish Finance Council for assisting me in, in being a good steward with uh, your generosity uh, towards our parish in oh so many ways. And so I wanted to thank you personally for that. I, and then I also wanted to take some time in this video to let you know that we have relaunched our Encountering Christ Serving Others uh, increased offertory program. But this program goes way beyond that. Uh, I personally know, and, and speaking on behalf of our parish, how generous you are with your time, your talent, and your treasure. So many of you uh, volunteer at so many different events. Uh, you volunteer to help as catechists in our EDGE programs, in our family faith programs. Uh, whenever there's any kind of ask as far as food donations. We just recently did our latest food collection and we collected over 5,000 items for local food pantries and those in need. Uh, over 600 gifts every year are given through the uh, Giving Tree. 450 meals are prepared uh, for the needy at Thanksgiving. You're just so generous with your time and your 
your talents. You give so much. And so I want to thank you for that. And the reason, though, that we are relaunching our encounter in Christ serving others is because we were about five months into this a couple of years ago, and then COVID hit. And so we are, have really been struggling, like many parishes, as far as our general collection. And so you will have received, or if you haven't received one of these, they are available at the church. And you can uh, obtain one of these beautiful pamphlets that have our crucifix on them. And I just ask you to look inside. Uh, just look at some of the numbers in there that I just recently mentioned. And uh, you can see all that as well as our annual financial uh, snapshot of our parish. And I just want to point out a couple of things with this snapshot. First, if you're like me and you look at the bottom of the snapshot, you're going to see that we did rather well. We are about $171,000 we came in in the black this past fiscal year. That's very deceiving because, as I mentioned, we received a number of generous donations for various projects, special projects uh, that we've been able to accomplish throughout the year. We have to report those. We also received uh, a PPE loan from the federal government that we had to uh, report uh, in this bill. Uh, that's a little bit deceiving. If you're like me, I would be like, why is Father Mary asking us to maybe rethink how much we give? Well, if you look, the line that is most important is the one that says offertory. It's the very top line. So you're going to see between last year and this year that our annual offertory is down around $90,000. And so that's what's concerning us is we want to be able to be stable long term. We want to be viable long term. And remember that your offertory it, it goes to support the mission to continue to do these things for the needy, to educate others in the Catholic faith, uh, to provide for those in need, and uh, to offer all that we do here at St. John Newman. We want to continue the mission that we have on the south side of Strongsville here. And uh, that is all only possible through your generosity, through your willingness. And so we're asking you to pray about that. And you will receive or should have received one of these commitment cards. And you'll notice on the commitment card that it's not just we're asking to pray about financially what you can do for the parish, but what can we also do for you? There's a place for prayer intentions where the staff and myself, we will take these prayer intentions and we want to pray for you. We want to pray for your families. There's also a place on here where you can speak to a priest. If you'd like to be uh, uh, to reach out and have a meeting with Father Barry or Father Patrick, uh, we are available. There's a place for you to speak for the priest. And then there is a place for you to consider um, if it's possible to look at your commitment financially to the parish. If you're able to increase, uh, we would be most grateful. And so we're just asking you to, to pray about that. And so that is, again, the Encountering Christ Serving Others program. That, that we are relaunching. And I, again, I, I want to thank you for all uh, that you do for the parish. If you have any questions about the financial report, I encourage you to contact uh, Deacon Ken Pichowski, our parish business manager, if you have any financial questions or concerns. And uh, thank you again so much for all that you do for our wonderful parish family of St. John Newman.